guys, welcome to Love Me Some Cooking with Vicki. And today we're going to make mushroom pork tenderloin, smashed potatoes, and glazed carrots. So let's get started with the pork tenderloin. Now with the mushroom pork tenderloin, let me explain to you about a little bit about that. And that is, these are big sliced mushrooms. These are already pre-sliced, that's what we're going to put in the um, pork tenderloin skillet as it continues to cook, not right away. But the point that I'm trying to make with this is the fact that if you don't like mushrooms and your spouse does, still make this dish. These are big enough to where you can just pick them out and you don't have to eat them. It's not like ordering a pizza and they're underneath the cheese and you have to pull back all the cheese to get to this to get it out and then, you know, it just looks like it got annihilated. So this way, this is a win-win for everybody. So we're going to start today with our smashed potatoes. So I'm going to start off here with some pancetta. Pancetta is just like bacon except for the fact that it's um, not been smoked. So it's cured but not smoked. So I'm going to take this package of it about three ounces, that's about eight slices, I'd say. And we're going to go ahead and cut this into little bite-sized pieces. I've got a little bit of oil in my skillet. Um, it doesn't kind of give off a lot of the grease. It's, I mean, it does, but not as much as um, bacon does. So I just want to get this going with a little bit of oil in my skillet. That's why I've got it sitting here. So we're going to have pancetta, which like I said is a substitute for bacon, sour cream, green onion, cheese, and our potatoes. And we're not going to use that fancy schmancy thing that I did the food mill um, with the last time that we did mashed potatoes. We're just going to smash them with a potato smasher. Let's go ahead and get all this in my skillet. Now I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to put this on the skillet, or <laughs> put this on the stove. get it going. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you what potatoes we're using. This is what's so cool about these as well. You don't even have to peel these. You know how like Idaho potatoes, they're big, you have to peel them. These are Yukon Gold. You don't even have to mess with them. So we're just going to smash them. So I've got this last one just to show you what they look like. So cut them, quarter them. That's it. It's about three pounds worth. So it's going to make a lot, but hey, you got leftovers and you can make potato pancakes or something with them next time. So we're going to rinse them off. In my bowl here, I've got several cloves of garlic in my pan. So they're going to boil with these, and then when we smash them down, it's going to melt and be all in there, and it's going to be just good. Ah. All right. We're going to put a little bit of salt in here. And not the pepper just yet. Up in the water. Okay, guys, so we've got the pancetta out of the skillet. So three ounces, eight slices, that's all that came out of it. But that'll be really good in our, in our smashed potatoes. So we've got that right there. Now we're going to work on our pork tenderloin. My family and I went hiking this afternoon, and we are starving. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of something fast and quick that I can get on the table. But let me tell you something about this dish. This is my husband's favorite favorite thing that I make. We actually won a newlywed game show, or not well, not actually like on TV, but a bunch of us were playing a newlywed game one night and I, we won because the question was, what's your favorite, our favorite dish that your spouse makes? And I knew it was mushroom pork tenderloin. So yeah, it's a winner either way. But so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and in our skillet, before we touch the meat here, we're going to put three tablespoons of butter right in the same skillet that we put that pancetta in. It's actually starting to melt already because the sucker's hot. And then we're just going to put it, get it going a little bit with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So just a couple times around the pan. Now, with the pork tenderloin, it comes in a package and it was kind of, I don't want to touch it with my hands just yet, but it was smashed together. So there's usually two long pieces in there, okay? This is like the filet mignon of pork. So this is really good stuff, but it's bland and there is no flavor to it unless you add it yourself, okay? So what we're going to do, what we're going to add to it is minced garlic. I know I'm using it out of the can, but we just got done hiking and I don't feel like doing any of this. I'm tired. I want to eat. So we're going to use it out of the jar here. Salt, garlic pepper, paprika. And then later on, we're going to add lemon juice, our mushrooms, and marjoram leaves. This makes a really good gravy and we're going to make that gravy at the end. Okay? So now to start, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of salt on here. Just work with one side for right now. 
and then that's the side we'll put down in the skillet. Little garlic pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and put, before we finish with the rest of the spices, get this on our stove top. Alright, now we're going to use paprika and you're just going to sprinkle it. So like I said, we're cooking, we're not baking. Don't even bother measuring. That's how your mama did it, right? <laughs> At least that's the way my mama did it. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to take some garlic, good tablespoon's worth, and we're just going to get one hand dirty, okay? We're going to just put that all, just rub it in. Don't let your spoon touch the meat because you're going to end up putting it right back in here for the other side. Okay, you hear that lovely noise in the background going? Now let's do the other side. Salt. And be careful, you don't want to burn this garlic. We're just going to sear it. And then once it's here, we're going to drop the heat, add, them, um, add a little chicken stock to it. And then add our mushrooms and put the lid on. Now you can use your spoon because you're not going back in there. Alright guys, we're going to flip it. Woohoo! how pretty that is. Nice crust. Our garlic is still in the pan. It's not burned. We're going to let this go for about another minute. And then we're going to add some chicken broth and the mushrooms and the lemon juice and the lid. Alright, we're going to squirt the lemon juice to it back up. <laughs> and a little bit of chicken stock. Now we're going to put our mushrooms in, the whole thing, like I said. Look at these. You can pick those off. You don't have to eat these if you don't like them. We're going to add the whole thing right there. A little bit more broth to kind of just saturate the mushrooms that are on top. And sprinkle it with a little bit of margarine. Now tell me that's not pretty. And this will be done in about 25, 30 minutes. And dinner will be served. Now turn the heat down. And that's it. So all we have to do is, I've got carrots back here that we're gonna glaze with some brown sugar. Those are ready. And then our smashed potatoes. So we're going to have pork tenderloin with gravy, with mushroom gravy, smashed potatoes, and glazed carrots. After a long hike, you can... All right, guys. The meat is at 150 degrees. It's going to carry over about 10, so it's going to be about 160. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the meat out and let it rest. And then we're going to make a gravy with these juices here in just a second. Now we're going to go ahead and do our smashed potatoes. So I went ahead and I've drained them. Look at that. So to this we're going to add about three tablespoons of butter. And like I said, we are just cooking. We are not baking. So we're not measuring that stinking thing. sour cream going and our cheese and our pancetta let's get some so we're gonna add a little bit of milk not much if you're measuring it I guess it's about a quarter cup to start but like I said don't measure it we're gonna add our pancetta back in here some 
green onion. This is just like that twice baked potato casserole except it's smooth. <laughs> well, chunky. But not quite like the other one. I'm going to put about, I don't know, three honking, four honking tablespoons of sour cream. Because I love me some sour cream. And then let's put a little salt and garlic pepper in there. We have to get your potato masher out and just start mashing. All right, got them smashed. Now we're going to add about one cup, half a bag of cheddar cheese. Tell me this does not look good. Alright guys, we've got those done. Now we're going to get started on our glazed carrots. I went ahead and I've drained just a bag of carrots. All I'm going to put on top of here is just about three to four tablespoons of brown sugar. Put that on, let it sit. We're going to shake it here in just a second. Now we're going to get started with this gravy. So I've got about three quarters of a cup of just water, plain old water, and I've got one big tablespoon of flour. A whisk. I'm going to go ahead and just whisk this in this water. So it's just flour and water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to our um, juice. And this was the chicken stock and the lemon juice, the beef, the pork um, juices, the marjoram, the mushrooms, and that's what's left in the pan. So after I've got this added, I'm going to add this to it after I get this on the heat. This is the best tasting gravy because of that marjoram that we've added to it and that lemon juice. It just kind of gives it a little special something something tang. <laughs> yeah, I said that. <laughs> so let's get it back on the skillet or on the stove top. All right. All right, let's go ahead and cut that meat. It's a lot better than cutting the cheese, wouldn't you say? <laughs> All right, we've had our meat resting for about 10 or 15 minutes. And now we're just gonna cut it at an angle. Oh, this looks so good and juicy. This is so pretty. Oh, look at how pretty. Hmm. Now we're going to put that gravy over top. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. The gravy is fantastic on this meat, but look at how big those mushrooms are. If you don't like it, you do not have to eat it. But trust me, that gravy is fantastic. I'm gonna sp sprinkle a little bit more margarine on top. Remember, if you're ever trying to make it look fancy, just sprinkle some parsley or basil or something on top, and then it looks like it came from a restaurant. <laughs> So look at that guys, oh, you've got your mushroom pork tenderloin, we've got our glazed carrots and all I did was like I said I added the brown sugar and I just shook them. and they're sweet and yummy and then we've got our smashed potatoes. If that's not a good meal for after hiking, I don't know what is. See guys this meat? was perfect at 150. We let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and it carried over to 160. So it is sheer perfection. Well, I certainly hope your sweetie likes it as much as mine does. So see you guys, now you can because there's no excuse. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.